Hello everybody, I am Dr. K. Ramkumar, Professor from Shastra Deemed University. First of all, I would like to convey my sincere thanks to MHRD for allowing me to be a part of this uh, knowledge dissemination process. So, this course is basically on uh, digital signal processing, uh, a technology related course. Okay, the applications of digital signal processing is almost everywhere. If you look at the modern day telecommunication systems, or automotive systems, control theory, robotics, aerial vehicles, you name any domain, this particular uh, particular tool will be employed, a digital processing, signal processing tool will be heavily employed in the modern day technological arena. So this course is basically a semi-theory, semi-lab kind of a course. Okay? So you will be learning theory, theoretical concepts and that will be augmented by strengthened by some practical courses. Okay, practical lab sessions. In fact, we will be using an open source software called Skylab for learning this particular development of all these algorithms done through the Skylab. It is freely available. Okay. So, this course basically comprises of many units. The first unit, in fact, will be talking about LTI systems. And the, the, the signals are given as input to this LTI systems and you will be studying the response. Particularly, we will be interested in uh, posing questions like, uh, is it possible to decompose a signal okay, using impulse signals? And, uh, and you will be studying the kind of responses called impulse response. Also, you will be studying about complex exponential signals too. How to decompose a signal using complex exponentials. So here, uh, in fact, one important concept in the first unit that we will be learning is a concept called convolution. Okay? Convolution is a very powerful concept wherein you will be asking a question something like this. If I have an LTI system, a linear time invariant system, if I give an input signal, an impulse signal like this, so the system is going to respond, okay, something like this, you call that is an impulse response. Okay? So you will be posing a question something like this. If I give an impulse signal, a delta t signal, okay, a delta t signal, and I get a response something like this, and you try to pose a question like this. If I know this impulse response, is it possible for me to reconstruct the output for any kind of an input signal, like any x of t? So that's where the idea of a convolution comes. In fact, you'll be doing an operation called uh, convolving the input signal with the impulse response, and you'll be finding out the output response of the system. So mathematically, you'll be learning about this. You will also learn concepts like eigenvalues and eigenfunctions, eigenvalues and eigenfunctions in this particular course. What is the use of this? Why any LTI system, if I give a complex exponential signal A sin some omega t plus some pi, why do I always get B sin omega t? Why the frequency is not changing? Why there is a phase change? If I is pi 1, I will be getting pi 2 here. Why, that, why, it, why it should be the case? So, you will be raising questions like this and you will be learning these concepts. And in the second unit, you will be talking about discrete time Fourier transformation, wherein you take the signal x of n and you try to, what you call, to the inner product with the complex exponential signals like this. Okay, what do we need to do that? So, these are all some of the important questions you will be raising. Okay, so you will be getting a kind of a frequency plot of the signal. If from time domain, you will be transforming it to a domain called the frequency domain, the signal. Why do we need to do that? Okay, so this kind of uh, questions will be answered through the a concept called discrete time Fourier transform, followed by is a transformation, which is something more like this. You take the same signal x of n and multiply it with an exponential signal like this. Okay? So, what will happen now? So, if I take the Fourier transformation of this signal, how it will be like this? Okay, or and we for the unit. The combination of R and E positive, and exponentially a kind of a decaying signal you are multiplying with the original X of N. Why do you need to do this? This kind of a transformation you call to the Z transforms. Okay, very powerful concepts. You will be learning these kind of ideas and this will be quite useful for the design of filters. Okay, so then followed by some of the ideas related to the filtering concepts and discrete Fourier transformations again. And then the design of the filters you will be learning in the fourth unit. Apart from that, you will also be learning the power of the, the computations, okay, the computational requirements optimally how to utilize it, okay, computational resources. 
So that comes, that will be learning with the help of an algorithm, very powerful, a very popular algorithm called as fast Fourier transformation algorithms in the fourth unit. Then you also have different uh, laboratory exercises. This, these, all these exercises will be doing with the help of uh, Skylab. In fact, I, I would like to introduce Skylab here. Skylab is uh, freely available, okay, so anybody can download it. For example, if I want to perform some operations like, for example, if I have x equal to 1, 3 and I can I can create a signal with the values of amplitude 1, 2, 3 and the corresponding impulse response, maybe I can give something like this, okay, so 1, 4, if I give like this, so I'll be getting 1, 1, 1, so if I want to convolve these two signals, it's feasible to convolve it, okay, convolve is an operator you'll be using here h comma 6 is quite uh, comfortably you can perform the convolution operation which I have mentioned just now. So you will be learning uh, all the theoretical concepts including discrete time Fourier transformation, user transformation, everything using this particular software. So this course is quite exciting, okay, so you will be learning a lot of uh, mathematics, okay, behind the signal processing ideas and that will be all be augmented with the help of the uh, practical courses. So it, I welcome you for this course, enroll in this course and get fully benefited.